my lord. Good morning, everybody. So, I just wanted to vlog this morning because I haven't actually vlogged since my birthday, which was just over two weeks ago. And I do miss vlogging. Also, by the way, I look like I have the world's worst under eye bags. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this right, but I had 11 and a half hours sleep last night because. I went to sleep at half nine. I didn't actually wake up until nine o'clock. As you can tell by my voice, I do sound as if I have just woken up and it is only just like five past nine this morning. Hopefully I will wake up and not feel tired later on in the day, but I don't know whether to do a weekly vlog or just a daily vlog because this week is quite exciting because me and my friend Charlie are actually going to see the Blossoms in in Newcastle on Sunday. I am actually so excited. Um, I was messaging her last night um, and and she's going to be driving us there um, and she's having a new car actually which is lovely so I'm excited to obviously go with her. So yeah I'm going to make my breakfast and I will show you my breakfast when it is all prepared and made because I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> I know it isn't the most appetising breakfast in the world but <laughs> I am extremely looking forward to this considering I never enjoy breakfast. I'm looking forward to having a bit of like unhealthy food and healthy food at the same time but I did actually put the kinder my nose in the microwave for 30 seconds so hopefully the chocolate is going to be using out oh oh that's not exactly worked as well as I thought it was going to be but that's like the nice chocolate inside obviously who else absolutely loves like kinder chocolate and bueno and things because I absolutely love these but yeah I'm going for breakfast I'm starving can't wait I actually feel I look alive now as you can tell all glammed up. I have heavily contoured my face because I'm not gonna lie with you guys. I I do feel a bit like self-conscious about my face because I do feel as if I have put a bit of weight on and I know there will be people commenting on here like like they haven't put any weight on blah blah blah. I don't do my makeup every day but um I'll often kind of be like I don't know just have like does that like on the daily obviously have a look in the mirror at yourself don't you like you know I'll put a bit of mascara on or something and like I'll obviously observe my face and I have put a bit of weight on but that's fine. I'm not complaining to me to have to put more contour on my face which is fine, you know what I mean? But anyway, I am wearing my Primark jumper and I am actually very excited. I was going to save this for a room to a video. Um, you know, my room isn't fully completed. I do need to get one more furniture bit. And then my room will be completed for the room tour. But uh, me and my boyfriend actually went to Ikea on Saturday, just gone. And as you know by now, I have an obsession with handbags. I used to keep them in the ottoman down here, as you can tell. But for that, it's now filled with like my hair tools and things because you know, they were overflowing out of my old unit. And, and those old units are actually gone because. I have now bought a handbag unit. Some of you guys are probably going to think, why the hell have you bought a unit to put your handbags on? It makes me happy, okay? I love my handbags and it is also an excuse to buy some more handbags or get sent them as well. So I'm excited. So I am going to show you this. Uh, please no comment, no hate, because I am really happy in this corner of my room. Because this part of my room, before I had this unit in, was probably a least favourite part of the room because the old unit was like chipped and it was a mess but now this is like the best bit all right so I, i'm going to show you i'm so excited look at that obviously all these photos are going to go i'm going to tell you guys what i am putting here but it will well hopefully in a few weeks i will i will be able to find one but all my handbags well not all my handbags are on here because i do have a couple of bags which actually can't fit on here a choose of size or, or one of them is a one of them is a work bag but it is handbag unit, so it, it has eight square holes, if that makes sense, and I have like two bags in each. I'm still deciding where to put all of the handbags, but for now, I think it, it looks so cool. And yes, all them candles down there, I know, and I just have like random things under there, more like kind of beauty storage under like my desk. Obviously, obviously this is my makeup desk, I can tell, hello, but yeah, how cool is this? I'm so excited. Of course, I couldn't a way to keep it for the, the room tour but trust me you guys have to keep an eye out for the room tour also I use my new hair curlers again by Mark Hill and I actually burnt my kind of thumb 
Wait a minute, look at that. It actually is really painful. It's like it, it is stinging really badly. Uh, I had to put some germline on it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I am actually just going to be filming a video um, and this will be up in the same week as this as this vlog goes up. Um, it might go up before this vlog or after the vlog, but I had to keep an eye out for the video anyway. I'm excited. It'll burn this jumper again just because. I can't be bothered to get like foundation all over the neckline when I take it off, you know what I mean? Because that's the only thing of wearing like the white like high neck things. You get a lot of foundation and stuff, so yeah. Guys, I just dropped my camera as soon as I got off the tripod, so hopefully it's alright. Like, it it kind of like turned itself off and I was like, oh my god. But I think it's alright. Honestly, I can't be trusted with like technology and phones and cameras and things now. Like, oh my god. But anyway, I've actually finished filming a video. It is a Christmas video, I didn't, tell, but I didn't actually tell you what I was filming, but I mean, it, it is a Christmas video. Anyway, I've actually started my Christmas shopping, well, only for my dad, surprisingly. Out of everyone, I've actually bought some presents for my dad first, but mum did actually help me. That's how hard to buy for, especially my dad anyway, because he doesn't, like, aftershave, um, he, well, he... He likes to get like new slippers and all the boring things at Christmas, but I thought he needs a wardrobe update, all right? <laughs> um, and I thought I would show you what I've got him because you know why not? So hopefully you'll be able to hear me if I plonk you on here. I might actually put you on my mini tripod actually. So all those makeup photos behind me, uh, they were there when I used to do makeup from home on clients every now and then, um, and. I just haven't taken them down just because it, it is something on the wall, but yeah. I was just so happy with this new thing. Like, it's actually so exciting. But anyway, I did actually go into TK Maxx with my mum last week, I think. Um, and we was kind of having a look at presents and things. Um, and my dad, he likes a brand champion for t-shirts. He's, he's not a very fancy guy, but I mean, champion is quite good for t-shirts and things. I'm hoping... Yeah, the bill fit him. I did actually get well. I have got him gift receipts for everything I have bought him, but I did I did buy everything from TK Maxx. The first thing I I have actually got him for this champion T-shirt. This is a green one, um, and this was actually how much was this in TK Maxx? It was actually ten ninety nine, and our RP for this is twenty one pounds. So I have to save myself there ten pounds, but. He does like champion clothing, and, but I mean, he, he can be very fussy with his clothes though, so I'm just hoping that it's... Yeah. Well, firstly, fits okay, and obviously, secondly, he likes a t-shirt. I don't know, but then, there, is also this one as well, which I've, I've bought him. I do have to be quiet because he is downstairs. Also, my hair is on everything. Lovely. A grey one, this isn't as... Nice as the other one, but it, this is ten ninety nine. Our happy was twenty one. Yeah, they are good quality t shirts. Well, he he keeps wearing this grey one at home, right? I am exposed to my dad here, <laughs> and he, he wears it all the time. But oh my god, the amount of holes in it! Oh my god, it's like that mental cheese, whatever you call it. It's actually so bad. So yeah. I've got him that t-shirt and then finally, this is such a dad present, but I've basically got him some socks. I mean, how granddadish do they look, but he's turned, well, he's turning into an old man these days, guys. You know, he's 50 now, so he deserves some granddad socks at Christmas. But yeah, so that's all I've got him so far. Um, I am going to be getting him something else. I can't remember what I was going to be getting him. Um, yeah, my mum's had to help me because he's just so hard to buy for. My mum's birthday is actually two days before Christmas as well, so I haven't actually bought her a birthday presents yet or her Christmas presents, but my sister has actually started on her Christmas presents actually. Um, I, I found my sister, I am actually getting a, a tracksuit. I don't know where from. My mum's bought it, but then I'm buying it off my mum, and then like, I'm also going to buy a, a record because, like, she has her own record player. She's like my dad, because my dad has his own record player. It is kind of cute how, like, they both have record players. But yeah, so I'm buying her a record player. And then for my boyfriend, I don't have a clue. Um, I might get him some sort of clothing piece. I'm hoping he won't be watching this part of the video. If he is, he doesn't exactly know what I'll be getting him anyways. But 
hi <laughs> um and probably his friends probably watching this video so if any of my boyfriend's friends are watching this also hi uh, please give me a message on some ideas for him because i don't have a clue <laughs> oh see why are men so hard to buy for like literally it actually stresses me out so much because it is easier for girls because we can probably ask for makeup i know not every girl likes makeup but there's makeup, there's perfumes, there's jewellery, there's handbags, there's shoes, there's like everything, you know? But yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. I'm probably going to make my lunch because it is currently quarter past 12 and I haven't had my breakfast at, at just after 9 o'clock. I did vlog this morning. I have also decided I am going to make this vlog into a kind of half weekly vlog um, because I think it'll be more fun and I'll be also be able to vlog the concert as well on Sunday. I'm actually so excited. No, like I have already mentioned how excited I am, but I've not been to a concert in quite a little while now. Guys, favourite YouTuber at the moment is Shannon Mooney. Oh my god, she's actually like... I love her channel so much. She's actually like an amazing YouTuber. Um, I, I think she's bigger on TikTok, but I don't exactly use TikTok. But honestly, please subscribe. I mean, I was like 41,000 subscribers, but oh my god, she deserves more. Like, once you look at her videos, as you can tell, I have like watched many of her videos. I am about to watch the Christmas tree video because, you know, I need to get in the mood for Christmas. I was actually feeling excited for Christmas because, I mean, I am feeling excited, but when December hits, I'm feeling more excited because I had to buy some quality streets and some heroes for my mum for Christmas and then she said, I'm not allowed to have them until the 1st of December. I was like, oh my god, that's still like 13 days away as I'm filming this. Yeah, like, really? But you were worth it. What's your guys' favourite like box of chocolates at Christmas time? Because mine used to be celebrations, right? But then I'm not keen on bounties, Snickers or Twix. I only really, I only really like like four of them out of the whole thing. Um, I do really like Quality Street and Roses and Heroes, but I mean celebrations. It's a bit meh, but you know what I mean. But anyway, speaking of chocolate, I'm actually going to be having some chocolate orange. Oh, and I also bought. A bar of the snowball chocolate as well, by the way. And I got the rest of that. And also some chocolate orange. You know, a chocolate orange is a classic kind of Christmas like food item, you know? So yeah, and I'm going to watch the Christmas video as well. And then I'll be picking my sister up at 3 o'clock from 6 form. I'll also be nipping to the salon to drop my towels off as well, just for something to do. Because I'm actually so bored. Yeah, so it's my Thursday afternoon. Extremely bored. Right, it's time to make a hot chocolate, ladies and gents. So basically, I bought a new tub of hot chocolate the other day from the shop because we actually ran out. And then I decided to buy some marshmallows with it because you can't beat having marshmallows on your hot chocolate. However, they have to be the big ones. Like, I want to start a debate. A big marshmallows or, or little marshmallows because, in my opinion, these ones actually taste way nicer compared to the little ones. Um, and I also have a hot chocolate half water and half milk because if I have my hot chocolate with full of it the milk and no water I will get a sore tummy and yet I am also using my 18 mug because my other mug is in the washing machine not the washing machine but the dishwasher which is currently on so I can't even get it out but I will oh god oh god my little tripod's moving all over the place as per usual I apologise for the awful lighting like, well, because this is a bigger mug, I might go for three scoops, uh, three heap scoops, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I've got the one, got the two, and I'll put three in just because, you know, why not? Yeah, I might have rotten teeth at the end of this, but you know what? It'll be so worth it. And then half water, and then the rest of it milk. Um, and... If you put the milk in last as well, it'll help like cool it down because there's nothing worse than burning your tongue on like a hot drink. I mean, I barely drink hot drinks. Like the only hot drinks I like is hot chocolate anyway. So yeah, oh my God, it smells so chocolatey. Yeah, the Cadbury hot chocolate is actually one of the best. Oh, the marshmallows, these are the best things ever to put in your hot chocolate, literally. What do I do? Ah, oh my God, so nice. And then I have two to eat. These are so nice, literally. Mmm, mmm, the tears guys. Good morning, so it's next morning, it's Friday and it is a salon day today. My first client is at half eight today 
I didn't actually wake up at half six. I feel knackered. I was going to put the full face makeup on, but I, I'm not in the mood to slap a full face makeup on. Plus, I had like four huge spots on my chin last night. However, I did actually sleep with Sudder Creme on. And it has actually kind of calmed them down a bit because they were really big and angry. I was like, no, I need to sort them out. Uh, so I'm going to have a break from makeup today. I will be but. I also will be wearing makeup tomorrow and probably on Sunday as well, obviously, for the concert. But it is good to have a break. I also have all my nice jewellery on. Oh, I also have a bobble on my wrist as well. All due for my birthday. I think it's pretty cute. I also have a watch on for when like, I do the massages and things. Because what I offer at the salon is makeup, facials, waxing, massaging, and also like eyebrow and eyelash and as well. The room is all set up for the day now. All I had to do this morning when I came and put the towels on the bed, get some beauty roll, put the wax put on and that's already on now, that'll just be heating up um, and then just like put like my eyelashes out and things because sometimes like people buy these or I use them for makeup as well but yeah I'm feeling very 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 pale today on my face because like having fake tanning I didn't actually put like any self moisturise, like any self like gradual tan on my face last night because I had the sort of creme on but yeah Oh well, are the ring lights on? Everything is all set up because this is like my little beauty room in case no one's actually seen it before. I think I have vlogged in here before, but yeah, this is my room. And I'm now going to play some grease on the speaker. <laughs> right, it's now tea time and I am about to open the bottle of Prosecco. I got for my birthday, this is one out, the one out of the two of them, so it's just like a rosé one. Right, I need to find where to open it first. Just, I have to take the whole thing, like the whole packaging off first. Oh wait. Found it. Right, I've got it. I've got the chist. They must make us fish and chips tonight as well, so I, I, I will show you what we're having. Just gonna take this off. It has been in the freezer, so it's nice and cold. Oh, it's pink and rose gold on the thing. That's so cute. Oh, I look kind of an in case you're wondering. And it also has hearts on it. It's so cute. Right, I hate opening these because sometimes it can go everywhere. But we're going to try today. I haven't shaken it, so it should be all right. It's also excuse the flat hair and the, the no makeup. I just have to deal with it. Right, I'm scared. Oh. So it's good to put a bit in. You should have took the glass in your car. I know, but it'll be alright. Nice and controlled. <coughs> That'll do in turn. I want to smell it first. Mmm. Oh, that smells nice. If you like Prosecco and you like Rosé wine, you'll most likely like this. I haven't actually had Prosecco since I was really badly sick with it. Um, and that was. My birthday celebrations, by the way. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Taste test. Mmm. <coughs> the mother's made tea, fish and chips with your peas and some carrots on the side. Nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, delicious. I am absolutely starving. I also love mushy peas. I used to hate them, but now I absolutely love mushy peas. And also tomato sauce to go with as well. Yeah. A 10 out of 10. At Gretna Gateway. I'm doing a bit of shopping. I've already been in a few shops and I've already bought a concealer from the uh, cosmetics company. But it is so cute. Look at all the little uh, things here. So cute. Like, it is nice and Christmassy. We've done quite well. I've um, only bought the one item. And you've, you've not bought anything, have you? Yeah. No. But yeah. Um, and now we're going to go on the beauty outlet, so the more makeup shopping, <laughs> cute. We've just came out of the lint shop and guess what I bought myself? It, it, it's a festive little bear, how cute. Yeah, I'd like it. 
Oh, there's so many nice things in there, literally. But yeah, it's so cute and Christmassy. Yeah, I actually love it, but yeah. Um, actually going to Sports Direct and then we're probably going to go home. After, like, there isn't a lot of shops. Honestly, my skin is actually so bad. I have just cleansed and exfoliated it as well, so it may look slightly more, like, it may look slightly redder compared to usual. I do have a massive one on there. I mean, it also gets like random breakouts. For me, it always seems to be after my period as well. I don't know what it is, but like, yeah. I don't feel very nice at the moment, but anyway. I am actually going to give you a mini haul from what I bought at Gretna Gateway at the outlet. So firstly, we went into the cosmetics company and I bought a Too Faced the concealer in the shade snow and I actually use the foundation of this like, I do really like the foundation it is a medium coverage I mean it is a lovely foundation and um, it is better for when like you do have clear skin because otherwise it will show your spots up but I really need a new concealer because I mean I am currently using the revolution one it is so good but it is actually running out so I thought I'd treat myself and this is actually Actually, fourteen pounds. I thought it was quite good, um, and I do love Too Faced makeup. It's always, always really good quality. And then I went in the beauty outlet because I need a white nail polish to do my toes with because I just I'm that basic girl who likes to have the white toes. A W seven one for one ninety nine. I like their uh, what they're called nail polishes. I think they're pretty good. And then finally, I did show you. Uh, I did get a lint teddy bear, and this was actually two fifty. Honestly, the lint shop was so busy, it was a joke. I bought from the shops, I have been pretty good and self-controlled with all, but yeah. Anyway, I'm actually going to sleep now because I'm actually working 9, uh, no, I'm actually working 6 till 9.45 in the morning tomorrow at my main job. I sometimes work a Sunday, I always just work a 3 and 3 quarter hours because I get paid extra for doing like a Sunday anyway, so... I'm happy just doing the you know, hours that I do on a Sunday anyway. But yeah, anyway, I well, I'll probably catch you up tomorrow in Newcastle if I remember to vlog. <laughs> um, for the concert, I'm all packed now. I think I just need to add a few things in my suitcase and hopefully everything fits in. I'm, I mean, we're only going for the night, but overpacker as always. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Ooh. <gasps> wow! Oh my god. This is our hotel room. I'll wait a minute. We've got the door. It's <laughs> <That's> all right. <laughs> oh, the... oh wow. Yeah, we actually have. Um... It's massive. A river. Oh no, it's a view of the car park actually. But well, this is actually so nice, isn't it? It's quite a businessy type vibes, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah, what's the bathroom like? That's nice. Oh, nice. Really nice. Oh, lovely. It has a nice shower as shower. well. Oh, well, nice happy days. We even got to check in early as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, have to. Whoop, whoop. Oh, perfect. Get the lamp on. I know, get the lamp on. This is a view outside. You can see your car from here as well. <laughs> oh, it's not a coffee machine, it's a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little fridge. Oh, cute. Oh, nice. <laughs> the Charlie's bought a lot of cans of alcohol so they can go in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, nice. Happy days. Here's Charlie. <laughs> Have our <Yeah>. drink. <laughs> Cheers. We've got a porn star. Yeah. You've got a... Uh, what porn star is it? Uh, raspberry porn star. Raspberry full. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> excited. So nice. Let's have a drink. We've got to have our blazers on as well. Yeah. You. And then also, this is a view from the, the restaurant as well. It is good in Newcastle though, isn't it? Like, Newcastle's the place to go. Yeah. 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 Not too bad. No. Cheers. Oh my god, that's so nice. <laughs>
way back to the hotel now using sat nav on the phone and walking very quickly because it's quite scary it's in the dark scary. and it's a bit cold okay. and they were both tired because like we're basically standing the whole time but i mean it was so good i recommend it's anyone amazing. who wants to go to like a blossoms concert to just right, go it tells us to go down there but i'm right. not going down there. oh no no that's a bit no oh no no we'll go this way a tip for anyone walking out on their own or even if, oh, if, if you're a friend just make sure to walk in the well area not a park of fucking hell is it shimmers <laughs> oh god so yeah but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog if you have please make sure to leave thumbs up comment down below also subscribe and i will see you in my next video go see the blossoms yeah 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 go see the blossoms really cool really cool we'll see you later this is Betchu and this is crazy. Bye. <laughs>